jumping circuit, starting things off with the Solent Stars into that double can there as the legs go over to the left hand side of the motorcycle. Jack getting his first bike when he was only four years of age and as I say he's worked his way up the ranks of the Solent Stars becoming their lead rider and only two months ago making the transition over into freestyle motocross. Very, very different setup, very, very new for Jack, but the future's bright as he starts off with a nice suicide no-hander there, letting go of his machine. So he is indeed not just the youngest rider out here today, he's the youngest professional rider in the country. For that reason, please make some noise for Jack Burton! 17 years old. What was I doing when I was 17? As we move over from one of the youngest riders over to one of the most established riders in the country, if not the best rider in the country right now. So for that reason, please make some noise for the one and only Mr. Alan Pauly. Not only is Aaron one of the best riders in the country, he is indeed local. That's right, he lives in Deerham. Didn't take him too long to get here. His friends and family are all here watching on. Let's see what he goes. He starts things off with a huge look back hard attack in the air and a mouthful of a manoeuvre for me to try and explain as he reaches for the grab hold beneath the seats, move the body up to the sky into what we call the heart attack position. Now Aaron, he's 34 years of age, he also got his first motorcycle when he was only four years old. And he's very lucky, he's got his son Jackson looking on him here today, two years of age, and Jackson somewhere in the crowd as he goes for a huge cliffhanger! The one trick you should not do in the wind is a cliffhanger. Don't know why Aaron's feeling that, but he certainly is. For that reason, please make some noise and give it up for Aaron Powley! Nice little stoppy there from Aaron as well. Now we here at Boulder, we like to share the load, so with a little bit of luck, I'm going to hand the mic over to the very capable Mr. Aaron Powley. Aaron, it's over to you. Thank you, Daniel. Well, you guys, you've just been introduced to myself. You've been introduced to the young gun of our team, Mr. Jack Burton. I'm now going to do my best to introduce you to the old guy of our team. Now, his name is Daniel Whitby. He's 40 years of age, and he is one of the oldest freestyle riders left in this country. But do not let that fool you, because he does have some of the biggest, hardest, and most technical tricks there are in freestyle motocross. So let's see what he's got for you guys. Oh my goodness, starting things off there with a banger. That one is called the Rock Solid. One of the hardest, most technical tricks in freestyle. A trick you should definitely not be doing when we have very high winds out here like we do today. Now, Dan's been a professional FMX rider for around 18, 19 years. So as you can see, his experience is definitely showing through on this windy afternoon out here in Chroma. Now, Dan is also a professional film and TV stuntman. He's worked on films like Captain America, Batman, and his latest film was called Heart of Stone. Now, believe it or not, Dan does spend a lot of time working on film and TV. He actually doesn't just do bike stunts, he does car stunts, he does lorry stunts. He does pretty much every kind of stunt you can think of. Now, Dan's just pausing for a minute because I'm sure as he explained, the wind is our arch nemesis. And when the flags are howling around, it makes our life very difficult. As Dan shows there, he just played it safe there in the wind with a little double can for you guys. But like I say, the wind does make things very tricky for us now. As Dan rolls back over, don't forget, he does actually have a radio mic inside of his helmet. And believe it or not, it is him talking you through most of our shows. So ladies and gentlemen, now he's come back over. Please make some noise for Dan with me. Well, I'm sorry about that, guys. The wind did go a little bit across the landing. As you can see, those instrumental flags aboard our little lorry there, that gives us a very good indication of what the wind is doing because the wind is the ultimate for us. We have to keep a real close eye on it because should the wind go across the landing system, the bike acts as a bit of a sail and it pushes the bike from underneath us. So I just had to stall momentarily and then when I decided to go, the wind howled in the direction and pushed me really deep on the landing system. So, with that said, the time has come for me to introduce you guys to the sport of freestyle motocross. I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of multitasking as I try and talk to you guys while well, indeed I'm flying through the air. Now the lovely ladies out there, you can be the judge of how well I succeed at this and gentlemen, if I do succeed to any degree, I am very, very sorry. But this is our introduction to FMX. Now, as I said, we keep a close eye on those flags on the landing system. Hopefully that wind stays in line. It's the way that we've set the equipment up to try and get the predominant wind direction behind us as I start things off with the simpler tricks then work my way through. So a little blip, slide the power on, I'll have a little run beside my bike. They call that one the air walk or a catwalk if you will, one of the more simpler of our manoeuvres. 
There goes Jack, nice heel clicker, brings the legs around the handlebars, clicks the heels in the air into what we call a heel clicker. Now Aaron very sensibly is just waiting momentarily for the wind to come in line. You can see those flags, they have gone directly across the landing system, making things very difficult, never a good thing when you're a freestyle motocross and you're having to contend with a crosswind such as that. So I'm sure Aaron will go for a double count, heel clicker, as he combines two tricks for the price of one that you saw from Jack and myself. At this time round, I'm going to go for the guard. So look out as I reach back into a seat grab, Indian Air. The hand goes back, grabs a hold of the grab hold, then we open the legs up into a seat grab, Indy. Let's see what Jack's got as he makes his way in. Snaps as well, jumps off into a Superman. Getting his body perpendicular to his seat into that Superman position. Now it's going for a motor whip. He turns his bike into the wind. So the wind travels nicely down the side of the motorcycle and he's able to get himself safely from point A to point B. Now I'm going to go for a one-handed grab this time round. Look out for this as I attempt to hold on to the machine with just the one hand. That little blip. We wide apart, we jump off the right hand, goes back. The left hand keeps a firm grip of the machine. That one's called a one-handed grab or an executioner, if you will. Let's see what Aaron's got, his flip levers are up, I'm sure he's going to go through an off axis. Double that, huge, it was so big from Aaron, but guys, what is the one thing that we haven't seen so far, who can help me? That lady, was you straight on it, I love that, straight on it, she's doing this to me. This to me means one thing, it means a backflip, but Chroma, how